Okay, hey everyone, welcome. So you're probably trying to take an older ROM that you've either run on an original system or you've run on uh, your 2DS or 3DS uh, before or another emulator or uh, console um, and you're trying to convert that into a CIA from its original ROM format which will allow you to go ahead and install it on the home menu for the 2DS and 3DS family of systems. Um, I'm going to be doing the GBA um, a Game Boy Advance game today. Uh, that was, I believe, the original um, system to be able to uh, use this method, but there are many others, so NES, SNES, Famicom. Um, I'm going to leave the major ones in the title um, if I can fit it. I'm going to leave a list in the description, and also you're going to see the tool I use today also has them listed out. Um, so the major things you're going to need, first off, you're going to need a ROM. Um, you know, that could be come from, you know, a cartridge you own, um, one of your emulators. Anyway, you need a source of ROM. Um, I'm going to be using WarioWare. Uh, you can see I have a save file uh, and a GBA file. You don't need a save file, um, but I'm going to give you an example of a save file. So three-fourths of this video is just going to be converting this GBA into the CIA and getting it installed so you go, can go ahead and play um, whatever game you want from the home menu. Uh, if you'd like to stick around, I'm going to be showing you how to, you know, both get save backups from the CIA format of games and also inject save files into them. Um, so that might be useful for some of you. Um, so like I said, I had this on an old system. I want my save back on my, my new 2DS XL that I'm going to be putting this on. Um, so I'm going to be doing some extra steps that are not necessarily uh, required. So I've done this on both the 3DS um, the original and the 2DS XL, the only requirements is that you do need custom firmware. So for reference, um, it is early 2020. I am running 11.13 from Nintendo and I am custom firmware with uh, Luma 3DS. And uh, for the save files, you're going to need God Mode 9. And for um, everything else in general, you're going to need FBI, which is the uh, pretty much major homebrew uh, file. Uh, manager. Uh, I believe both of those come um, standard with Luma 3DS. Um, so anyway, if you're not custom firmware on your device, go ahead. There's a thousand videos online, um, even for that current firmware version that we're on. So go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and delete the CIA file because um, we're not supposed to have it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and now I have my two files, my ROM and my save. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open up a tool. Now there's actually two tools. The first tool that got released that could do this was the Ultimate GBA VC Injector tool for 3DS. This is um, pretty much very similar, but more basic. It's kind of a one-off, you load the ROM in, it pushes out the CIA. Um, it does not support anything else but GBA, and also it apparently has some inconsistencies with the Pokemon games. Um, then there's um, New Super Ultimate Injector for 3DS. Um, this supports all the, all the new systems. Um, it's also more kind of project oriented. You'll see what I mean. It, it has more of a development environment. Um, so if you're doing a lot of these, um, it would probably be better for organization. Anyway, I don't really see any reason why you would want to go back to the old one. Um, but if for whatever reason, I'll leave the link to the GitHub in the description. So you can see everything that it can do. Um, again, I'll go ahead and list those. I'm going to go ahead and delete this project. And the first thing we need to do is go ahead and create a new project. And we're going to do whatever uh, ROM type we're trying to make. So I'm trying to make a Game Boy Advance game. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, from there, I'm going to go ahead and load a ROM. And yep, there it is. And I'm going to just wait for it to load. So I recommend an internet connection so this can go out to GitHub, get its resources, and, and do all of this stuff automatically for you. You'll notice the headers are filled in, um, virtual console functions. Um, a lot of these presets are just done for you. Pretty much all you have to do from here is set the cosmetics. So long name. Um, they even give you examples. If you notice, it'll give you a description and an example. I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. Um, not every game will be long enough to have a long and a short name. Usually people just leave them the same. 
Um, here's a note, uh, the publisher is Nintendo, not Game Freak, just like GoldenEye 64. The developer was Rare, but the publisher was technically Nintendo. Um, these aren't vitally important. I would just note that they are involved in the trackers and stuff like that, um, your activity log. So if you want things to remain organized, it's best just to kind of try to keep them neat. Now you can go ahead and download an image offline uh, for both of these. So for the icon and the virtual console. Um, so this is what's going to be seen on the home button as you scroll to it. And then this is what's going to pop up on the top screen. Um, you can go ahead and download whatever images you want. If you have a custom ROM, you can make your custom artwork and go ahead and fit it in there. Um, I prefer just to kind of, I either, I click both of these, so either the box art or the title screen, and I kind of, um, you know, see uh, see what, what I like. So, yep, that's, that's good for me. I like the box art better than the title screen for this one. I believe, eh. All right, we won't dilly-dally, we can always change it later. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this one. So you'll see that'll get black bars. You have some good editing tools here. Um, but if you're not satisfied with this, you can totally go ahead and get whatever you want offline or make your own Photoshop ones. Um, yeah, I think we're good with that. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, that looks cool. All right, and then the last one is just right here. Let's do this. That looks good to me. You can change the fonts. You can go wild on this. You know, you can customize this the, the whole bunch. Uh, the border, you can also change. A lot of the times I would change it. Um, purple is already kind of Wario's color, so I feel like it fits with the theme. And then before we finish up here, I'm going to go ahead and save. So this saves the project now, so at any time I can come back and edit this without having to load the ROM and, and change everything I did before. The other one will not do that for you. Um, edit content options. This, this screen has been weird. I don't know whether it's my resolution or what, but um, there is that little edit content options at the very bottom. Um, dark filters, in case the games were very bright, I believe it gives you, yeah, it'll show you a preset. Um, sleep and hard reset these are things that they will add to the rom for you and basically it's a button combination that will hard reset the rom so it'll reset the game or it'll put the game to sleep so you can walk away and close the close the console and not have to worry about it uh shutting down or uh stopping on you anyway just to last once over you're pretty much doing the box art and the names um there is ips's and the advanced stuff you can go into but um for the very basics that's pretty much it so I did save, and we just want to export to CIA. We're going to just wait until it says export, and then go ahead and click it. <laughs> okay, so we're almost done with this section, which I'll call the SD card savings and prepping se section. We're going to copy our uh, CIA over to our 2DS. This is the root directory. Um, and if you have Luma 3DS installed properly, you should have um, a CIA's folder. And then if you're doing the part where you're trying to get a save, take that save file. We can leave that old ROM behind. And go back to your root and where are you? There you are. God mode 9. Um, so when God mode 9 loads up and it goes into the virtual NAND and it actually goes to do a transfer and everything. It actually makes files called out and in. Um, this DS and SD card haven't done that yet, so they weren't auto-generated. Um, you can go ahead and type them in yourself, but I like to have it just do it for me just so I know the format's proper to what the uh, script slash program wants. So I'm actually going to just put it in the root, but if you had an in folder, you'd put it in the in folder. Um, the out is for any save files you're pulling out of the system, um, and the ins are for the injection. So injections and then the outs are for the um, extractions or dumps. So now that we have all that, we have our save and we have our CIAs, I'm going to go ahead and pop this back into the 2DS XL, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, guys, welcome back. 
Uh, so I've placed the SD card back in the 2DS um, and I'm going to go ahead and load up FBI. Um, if you notice, I do have the Twilight menu plus plus right here, which was what I was using to play GBA files. And instead of going into that, waiting for that to load, and then going from there and loading the GBA file, now we're just going to have it as an applet. So WarioWare is going to go right next to WarioWare Gold, which I believe is a 2018 or maybe 19 title. So that's pretty funny. Um, very, very simple here. We're pretty much, if you're not doing the save section, of this tutorial you're pretty much done we're going to go to our SD card um, and go down to that CIA's folder and we're going to click on it um, if you click install CIA it basically will install it to your home menu and then the CIA will remain on the SD card um, this is only nine megabytes pretty much so I don't really care um, but if you want to clean up the clutter or if uh, whatever you're installing in the future is very big you can always say install and delete um, which basically means it will be installed to the um, to the system, but it won't actually remain on the SD card as the CIA file. Okay. Okay, installation finished. Um that's funny. I usually do it with um I usually do it with uh the delete and it it's always way faster than that. So maybe uh maybe maybe it has to unload the CIA and then repack it and it actually takes longer. I don't know. But anyway, uh we can go ahead and close down FBI and we notice that we already have new software here so if we unwrap that that's going to be everything you'll see the icon that I made is there you'll see the um, up top at the top screen what I added is there and all the um, alterations to the text um, are there um, so basically if you just want to play the game go ahead click um, you're, you're off to the races uh, what I'm using to record this won't let me get into um, the GBA virtual emulator without crashing it. Unfortunately, I'm using NTR boot. Um, but basically the next step for everyone who's trying to learn how to save files, inject files, or both, um, is basically we need the last game that you open to be uh, what you want to save or inject with. So if you just needed the CIA help, thanks for watching. Uh, everyone else, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually click and open this. Uh, once it fully loads as a game, I'm going to go ahead and hit the home button, um, exit out, and then power off the system. And what this is going to do is this is going to keep this as the last thing in vir virtual NAND uh, flash. So when we go into um, God Mode 9, this will be what we find in the save files. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that off screen, and then I'll see you uh, actually in front of a real camera because... Uh, God Mode 9, uh, I'm not going to be able to screen capture that. Um, so I will see you guys. Hi everyone, welcome back. So you can see I've loaded WarioWare here. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to Options. And we're going to go ahead and clear my data out. Um, so I actually went ahead and I tested this out beforehand. Um, so that was what it's supposed to look like with everything complete like that. So now if we go, it's going to ask us for a new name. Um, so the game is completely wiped fresh. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and hit the home button. So whatever game you're using, let it, let it boot up fully and let it get to its main home screen or whatever it's going to do. Maybe even go a few steps beyond it. Um, basically what we want to make sure is that uh, the virtual console um, basically gets put into uh, sysnand flash, um, a certain section of it, and we want to make sure that it's in there when we launch God Mode 9 uh, so we can manipulate it. So now that we've exited that, we can go ahead and power off. And then wherever start is on your system, you're going to hold down start and then hold down power, and it should launch God Mode 9 for you. So there you go. I'm getting um, an error down here about my uh, system time 
seeming to be off. Um, you might, you probably won't get that. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's very dark. Um, it's very hard to see for whatever reason. So I'm going to instruct you through it uh, vocally, but I'll also put a guide in the description. Um, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, I'm going to show you how to inject and take a dump. So we're going to take a dump of what's there, which is really nothing. Um, and then we're going to inject that new file back in. Um, so you're going to see both. So if you remember, if we go to the SD cards, the first thing, so this is your file system and then this is your options. The SD cards, the first thing. If you remember, um, in uh, GM9, that folder, we went ahead and we stuck this WarioWare save. So if I press Y, it's going to go from copy to, it's now going to say paste. So that's in my clipboard. So when I say inject, uh, anything that's in my clipboard, it's going to take that. So uh, you basically want to bind whatever you want to, whatever save file you want to that Y button. So let's back out and then we're going to go all the way down until it says uh, sysnan virtual. And then the first, uh, the first file there is going to say like abag um, save.bin. That's going to be your save file. It's going to be the first one. If you press A and then A again, it's going to... Uh, give you options. The first one's going to be dump and then the second one's going to be inject. So if you go ahead and take a dump of it, it's going to tell you that it successfully dumped to um, the GM slash out folder, which we talked about before. And then while we're here, if we go ahead and go inject, um, it should successfully inject and the copy um, the copy is back, so we know that it's no longer, paste is no longer an option, so it took it. Um, before we leave, um, so basically we took a backup, we copied, and we did an inject. Um, before we go all the way back out, let's go back to this SD card. And I can show you the out folder. So there, there we go. In the out folder of your GM9 folder in the root. So root GM9, uh, and then it's gonna be the out folder and that's going to be uh, where your save file is. I, I think you might be able to name it. I'm not sure though. Um, I'm blanking. There might be a setting to be able to name it. But anyway, you'd plug this into your computer and then you'd have your save file and you could transfer it between systems and just keep a backup of it. Um, you can also just keep a backup of it locally. If there's a game you like the point you're at, um, in case you screw something up, you could actually reapply it. So anyway, the only final thing to do is we're gonna press the home button in A and power off. I'm going to power on real quick. And so we went in, we went into sysnan virtual. Uh, we went into the first file, the ag save file uh, dot bin, and then we went into there, its options and we hit dump. Um, so that brought that to the out. And then we also used our paste from what was on my laptop earlier um, to inject. And now we're going back into WarioWare that was completely wiped. And we're going to see if we've gotten back to the state we wanted to get to. And there we go. We are back. So you can see we're all the way, um, all the way at the end of the game. So we went from delete um, all the way to restore. So anyway, so that's how you take uh, a ROM, specifically a GBA ROM, and convert it to a CIA and install it on your home menu. And then if you want to take any of your old save files uh, and inject them as well as uh, create new save files and save them uh, using God Mode 9, that's how you do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there should be more related videos to this um, on the 3DS and 2DS and that family of systems and homebrew to come. So. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.